Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, your step-by-step -step chef. In this episode, we're going to make a very delicious salad. Come on, get back here. You, you, get, you, you get back here. It's a delicious salad. It's not just any salad. It's not just iceberg, a couple of tomatoes, and some cucumbers. This salad has a lot of stuff in it, and it's made a secret way. And I'll, in fact, I'm going to give you the secret up front. The secret to a super salad is having many ingredients, but also cutting them up small, making them bite size, so people don't have to sit there and work the fork and knife the whole time they're at the table. When you serve a salad like this, it makes people want to eat a salad, and it makes them eat more salad than they usually would, because they don't have to do a lot of work to eat it. You'll, you'll understand when I show you. Come on, let's cook. And here are the ingredients for our super salad. Now, first of all, these vegetables have been rinsed off ahead of time. And um, we have half of an iceberg lettuce. We're going to use about a third of a cup of chopped red onion. We're going to use about a third to a half a cup of chopped carrots. I have half a cucumber here that we'll chop up. I have five baby bella mushrooms. White mushrooms are fine too. I have three tomatoes. Those are Campari tomatoes. That's about the equivalent of half, um, about, about a medium tomato. We're going to use about a third of a cup of chopped orange pepper. Sweet red pepper and green pepper are fine too. That's according to your taste. We're going to chop that celery up and end up with about a half a cup of chopped celery. We'll use two cups of chopped baby spinach. Now I have a can of artichoke hearts back there. Those are quartered artichoke hearts. And if you're out of season for a lot of fresh vegetables, um, there are canned vegetables that you can use. And I really do love these artichoke hearts. Uh, people also put, you know, baby corn and things like that in their uh, salads. So, you know, you have to get real creative certain times of year to put this salad together. So if you can't get any of these ingredients or all of these ingredients, then you just use what you can get. Think creative. But the main point is, is put a variety of vegetables in your salad, a variety of complementary tastes, and chop it up fine. And I, I guarantee you it's going to be a very popular salad. I'm also using a quarter cup of um, pitted olives. So these olives, these Kalamata olives go great. Green olives are fine. Um, and I will cut those down a little bit more. And I have some croutons here. We'll use those to taste. And we have some um, dry roasted sunflower kernels in a shaker can. I mean, what will they think of next? I picture myself later after doing this cooking show, uh, probably leaning, <laughs> leaning back on the couch and dumping that into my mouth. <laughs> so they made it too easy to eat those. Then we have a commercial salad dressing. And I also do have... Um, salad dressing recipes on stepbystepchef.com. So you can look at those up if you want a really fresh taste because I do use um, fresh herbs, sometimes dried herbs in those salad dressings. It's so much more fun, I think, to make your own salad dressing, but you know, we don't all have that kind of time. So a nice uh, commercial salad dressing is good too. So let me show you how to put all this together. Okay, so I have my handy salad bowl standing by as we chop through the salad. And we'll start with the lettuce. So the lettuce, we'll just cut across. And these lines are about, I'd say about a half an inch wide. I'm just cutting it across. And again, this is sub a very subjective dish. So you can certainly, you know, make changes to it. If you like your lettuce like big leaves, I mean, do it. We're just trying to get some salad into you. <laughs> and then I'm just cutting across, across those salad strips, those lettuce strips. Again, I just find that having these bite-sized pieces makes me want to eat more salad. It keeps me from having to sit there through an entire meal uh, working with a knife and fork. And some people like that. I don't. So we'll just put this in the bowl as we go. It's kind of a a little bit bigger than confetti. You don't want the stiletto so small that it vanishes and it won't stay on your fork. And then we'll just do the same thing with this piece. I 
and I'm just going to cut it end to end. So it's kind of, you know, it's a little bit bigger than shredded. It's just these little squares. It doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. But do try to make the pieces uh, small enough so that they are bite-sized. That's really the point of it. So there's our lettuce. And just to shake up the greens a little bit, we'll add some chopped spinach. Again, this, the point is the same. Nice and bite-sized. Think if this were on a fork, would someone just be able to eat it or do they have to cut it with a knife? Our point is people don't have to cut it with a knife. This is a great way to get a lot of salad into people. <laughs> Tasty salad with a minimum of work. There we go. Some nice chopped spinach. And we'll toss this at the end. We'll give it a nice tossing. Okay. And here comes our celery stalks. I'm just going to cut those lengthwise in half. And then just right from the end. Nice little bite sized pieces. And again, any of these ingredients you want to throw more in, do it. You find something else I haven't thought of, go for it. Okay, nice fresh celery. Now we have our orange pepper. Now this pepper came in a set of peppers, so it's not like I go around looking for orange peppers. But uh, uh, it had sweet red pepper in it, it had a bell pepper, yellow pepper, and an orange pepper. And the orange pepper to me tastes very similar, I'd say, to the red pepper. It's not quite as pungent as the um, bell pepper is. It also adds a nice color to this dish, as would the red. And just cut that into these little pieces. So we're just chopping it. It'll be kind of dicing. It's a little slippery. And here's our mushrooms. They've also been rinsed off to take the grit off of them. And dried a little bit. With these, I'm just chopping them like this. Into, this is like quarters, and then just going across like this. And that's, that's about fork size, that's fine. And I'll just do this for all of the mushrooms. And here comes our cucumber. This is one of those um, hot house cucumbers or English cucumbers. So you can eat the, um, eat the skin on this. Usually, if I have a regular garden cucumber, I will peel the skin off because I, I don't really like that, um, that sharp taste that the skin has. So I cut this lengthwise, you can see into these quarters, and then I'm just, um, just chopping into these smaller pieces. And here's our tomatoes. And again, we're just looking for bite-sized pieces. So I'm cutting off the old stemmy part. And then I'm just going to cut it in half from top to bottom. And then just do these little thirds or quarters. This was a bigger one. And just again, they're these little fork size pieces of tomato. And next up comes our carrots. And if you have one of those um, one of those little handles with the julienne setting on it, you can certainly julienne the, the carrots. 
I'm assuming that most people do not have those, so we're just cutting these super thin. And if you have um, carrots that are kind of on the fat side, then just take them and cut them down lengthwise, like that. And that'll give you a smaller piece because now it's halved. And here's our Kalamata olives. And I'm just going to slice these in half. These are pitted, so there's no seeds in these and um, no risk of anyone breaking their teeth on them. I really recommend that in a salad. I, I just can't stand dealing with uh, pits, things that you can't eat in a salad. I mean, what's the fun in that? So get the pitted version. Even though it says pitted, that means the pits have been removed, at least where I live. <laughs> but um, I really would not put anything with a, a pit into this salad. And here come our artichoke hearts. Now, at certain times of the year, like in the summertime, you might not have to use canned goods at all. Uh, I'm just really adding these as an example of what's possible. And what I like to do is, these leaves can be kind of on the tough side, even with these quartered artichokes. So I cut it just above where the leaves start, discard the leafy part, and then I just cut the artichoke in half. And these were not in oil, these were in water. Sometimes you get a can that's really fresh and you don't really have to do much of this, but this is another thing where I'm kind of uh, of the school that you don't want people to have to deal with um, tough leaves and set them aside on the plate. There's just really no fun in that. And um, for some people, salad's a little bit of a challenge to begin with, uh, getting them to eat it. So anything you can do that makes eating a salad easy will get them to eat that salad. So I'm just going to do that for this um, pile of artichoke hearts. I'll be right back. And the final thing we'll do is add our onion. I'm just chopping the end off the onion, peeling it. Now, if you live in a house where people don't really like fresh onion, then certainly don't add this to it. Um, but all I'm doing is chopping the top like this. And these lines are about a quarter of an inch wide. So I'm going parallel first, and then I go perpendicular. And I don't go all the way down into the onion. I just go deep enough where I think I'll end up with as much onion as I need when I slice down the face. And there's our onion. And I just add that to the salad. Mmm, wow, that onion smells good. So this is like one of those executive um, executive decision moments, very exciting in the step-by-step -step chef. I love the way this onion smells, so I'm actually gonna add some more. And that's the fun of this salad. You know, you can make it any way you want. Mmm, wow, that is, that's a tasty, it's kind of like sweet and, sweet and hot and oniony at the same time, and I think that spiciness will really add some flavor to our salad. So this is what our salad looks like. And all we have to do is toss it, get the lettuce mixed in with the other ingredients, and then serve it. I mean, if you're really artistic, you could make the bowl like this and let people just stick the, th stick the tongs in to get their salad per serving. But I'll give this a quick tossing, and I'll see you in a moment. So congratulations. Look at what you just did. You just made this delicious super salad. I added the croutons, the sunflower seeds, I put some of the dressing on it. This thing's ready to roll. It is ready to roll. Now, when you're thinking about making one of these, also think of it as your own salad bar at home. And some people like to put, you know, like uh, diced ham on it, uh, tuna, um, some hard-boiled egg chopped up. You know, you can really go to town on the salad, but the main thing is keep everything in the salad bite size so people don't have to work to eat it and i guarantee you they will love this salad it's not just a salad it's an event okay anyways if you like this recipe please go to my website stepbystepchef.com there you will find a printable version of this recipe 
and you will also find printable versions of recipes for over 175 different dishes. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You will also find video links for every single one of those recipes. I will show you how to make them the step-by-step -step way. The other thing you'll find there is oops, my cookbook, Cooking with the Step-by-Step -step Chef. And this has 114 recipes in it when I made this video. I'm going to update it every November. Probably by the time you see this video, I'm going to have over 175 recipes in the book. It will be updated. And I'm just going to keep rolling. I can't help myself. I can't. I'm, I just can't. I'm going to keep cooking and keep sharing what I find with you. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. This makes a great gift for you, your family, and your friends and even casual acquaintances. For some reason, they really love this book. So I hope you'll take a look at it. So again, I'm Larry Richardson. I am your step-by-step -step chef, and I'll see you in the next episode.